guys, so my name is Dinah and I do YouTube videos up in here and I'm just going to share with you guys five tips. Well, that's ten. So five tips, five beauty hacks, five skincare hacks in, in that broad line right there. I'm going to share with you guys those five shebangs. Let's do this. Number one. Okay, so very first tip that I have for you guys. This is by far my favorite lip balm. I no longer buy lip balms and right after i will mention this it will make perfect sense to you guys like why this is my favorite lip balm of choice shea butter shea butter is pretty much used in every single good lip balm it's 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 just it's just magical so for me i just rather get the real thing and use the real thing onto my lips and all you have to do is just apply this onto your lips it does have a, an odd texture unlike coconut oil shea butter does not melt but it's kind of similar to coconut oil meaning that you know when coconut oil is kind of hard and you touch it it kind of turns oily but this one is more resistant like it's not as like meltable i guess and coconut oil melts in the heat i'll show you so see how coconut oil is melted in winter this would be hard but right here it's boiling hot in malta so <laughs> it's it's melted but shea butter doesn't melt so that by far is my favorite lip balm i use it every night when i go to bed onto my lips and it just hydrates my lips amazingly it's the best lip balm i've ever tried honestly it's the real thing it's 100 percent organic real natural and it's just it just does wonder for the lips it's like a win 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 situation number two okay, now the very next tip that i have for you guys is the best moisturizer ever at least for me i have been doing this for the past year right before i sleep my skin has never looked better this has balanced my dry skin it's amazing combination galore i love it so what i love to use is argan oil and rosehip seed oil in combination together i use a couple of drops of argan oil and i use a couple of drops of rosehip seed oil my tongue is not cooperating i'm sorry so what I do is I apply them onto my hand and I apply that onto my face, onto my neck, into my decollete, if I said that right, hope I did. And the rest of the product that I have on my hand, I just like, I just, you know, moisturize my hands with it. It's also an anti-aging combination, which is amazing. And I love that, so yeah, this is like my jam. Love it. Number three. Yeah, the very next step will probably blow your mind or it won't because you already know it. So, you know how we all love long lasting eyeliners and eyebrow products and lip products, but then when you put them on the brush, it's like impossible to remove and you're like, I'm going to disown you. I'm talking about the brush, but you don't need to disown that brush, okay? You don't need to. I'm going to show you how you can clean it. So what you use is coconut oil, put it on a cotton pad, or if you're like that much of a rebel, just do it on your hand. Coconut oil is very good on your hands, like, you know, it's moisturizing, so you can do that. And all you do is just swirl it in the coconut oil. And honestly, this will clean your brush like no tomorrow now the only problem is that oil doesn't come out with water so you need to wash your brush right after you do this you need to wash it with soap and water so that you take the residue out i personally prefer to use dishwashing soap because i find that that cleanses better but you can use whatever you want but this coconut oil will take it off like take all of your products of your brush off it's amazing number four if you're one of those people who wants bigger looking lips and you're not into getting your lips you know injected or whatever or you want to keep it natural just put a couple of drops of peppermint oil in your lip gloss shake it up a couple of times so that it mixes up with your mixture and then apply it onto your lips beware when you apply it just use a couple of drops don't go overboard because it might burn your lips like it might feel like it's burning your lips even if it's not and maybe you won't like that sensation but if you like that sensation go for it and go for a lot of drops but just go at it a little bit at a time so that you don't go overboard number five okay now the very last tip that i have for you guys is hair wise so i love 
love love to use coconut oil as a hair mask it's just amazing every time I use this my hair feels so much softer it really helps with the outer you know structure of the hair it makes your hair feel so much softer it's amazing I really love using coconut oil in my hair um, if you like don't like how coconut oil tends to drip all over the place like when you put it in a hair as a as a hair mask just mix it a bit with your conditioner to make it a bit thicker that's like another tip for you guys i have bleached hair fyi and my hair is like super long and this is what keeps my hair constantly hydrated this is my go-to hair mask i i i just i love it love so thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and i'll see you guys on my channel if you wish peace